Well, we have a guest on the show, finally. I've been reviewing Beer Solo way too long. I'm getting, like, insane on camera. I know you're like someone I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> uh, anyways... Uh, Barry is back for yet another beer review, and today he brought a brewery from Minnesota, Rochester, actually. Did you get a haircut? It looks good. Yes, sir, I did. Uh, anyways, he brought, um, I guess, a new, newest, like, one of the newer, but the newer. not even a year old. Right, right. And it's a, it's a, getting a lot of hype in yeah, the lot Twin of hype. Cities area. This is a Forger <clears throat> Brewing Company. Uh, this is their Urban Hops. I think it's considered a pale ale. I it is 5.4% so. alcohol by volume. You were down venturing into Cora. Yes. This past weekend. Uh, and this was King Crawlard. Or canned, really. Just yeah. a big ass can. Big ass can. Uh, a paint can. On May beer. 30th. So this is like <laughs> nine days old. Yeah. Well, 10. Because math is hard. Um, yeah. Tell tell us a little bit about the beer. You, you stopped by? Yeah, we stopped. Carbonated for sure. It's filled very full. Yeah, they fill up to the top, is what I've been told. Um, we stopped to use the restroom and we figured why not stop in a uh, brewery yeah. and uh, pick up some beers, especially after this one's getting so much hype in the Twin Cities area. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're basically the second coming of TG. Um, funny enough, I spilt the crawler everywhere. You did not. Uh, Joe and Nate can't pour a crawler with shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on camera, those guys just fucking fail and I fail, <laughs> so I eat my own words and my foot. But uh, very excited about this one. I think the first word in the description is citra. Yes. Uh, is. And I smell the citra already. It's yeah. all over my hands. It's yeah. all over my table. Yeah. It's in my glass. Uh, pretty happy. You go ahead, show yours off. Mine is not admittedly in the best condition. Oh. Uh, that is haze for days, guys. That Look is fucking this. treehouse, golden, yellow, uh, trillium-esque colors. That is New England style. Mm-hmm. Beautiful Definitely. looking. And you can smell it from here. Yes. You can smell that ripe peach and pineapple. <laughs> it's like... In your face, right? Uh, go ahead. Let's get a little deeper. Actually, this smells like pot in a way, too. Um, <sighs> dank. Yeah, so dank. A uh, gentleman, a uh, friend of mine, uh, lives down in Rochester, and he was saying that, you know, these guys are hit or miss. So I was a little, I was like, hey, don't fucking ruin my parade. I'm excited to try this. <laughs> Me too. Um, this actually, so do you remember when Joe was reviewing, uh, I think it was green, and he talked about a basil note? Yeah. I get crazy amounts of basil in this. Yeah. Like, like it literally spice. smells like fresh herbs. I get herbs and it's pineapple even, and orange. There's like a floral note there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know what it is, but... Honestly, it smells, it smells absolutely great. insane. Yeah. I have never had a more prominent basil note. I'm not even fucking right. kidding you. This smells like freshly diced up herbs. And I've had basil beer pan. that doesn't yeah. smell this basil-y. Uh, this is insane. Uh, it's juicy, uh, mm-hmm. but it's it, it's also restrained. Uh, it's definitely got that pineapple, orange, tangerine, peachy note. It smells fucking great. Yeah. Uh, blowing me away. So thanks for bringing this over, dude. Uh, welcome, Forager Brewing Company in Minnesota, even though it's been like a year. But welcome to YouTube. It takes about a year to get No one has fucking reviewed you yet. So. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Ah, I love that the herbace- herbaceousness um, goes through into the taste. Mm-hmm. Um that is very, very uh, fresh herby. Like so much that it's 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 a cross between dank and herbs. Uh, yeah. It definitely does have some of the juicy notes. It definitely does have like a, a tease of pineapple, a tease of OJ, and a tease of like everything that you, you want from Citra. But it is heavy on the herbs and dank. It's ve- it's vegetal it's citra. Right? Yeah, is yeah. That how you just, but it's not it's not simple, bad. No, no, no. It's not bad. That's it's the thing. Not. There are there are crops of citra that when they are <clears> as <throat> vegetal and earthy and resinous as they and herbaceous as they are, they can they can be a little bit off putting. Yeah. This really isn't. It's actually a pleasant surprise. Uh, I think it's it's different. Uh, I had about a two ounce taster at the brewery, and it was more tropical fruity. Mm. This is definitely different. I'm wondering if this came off a different, different line. Yeah. yeah. The kegs that I had were different. I don't know. I'm not sure. I know they're real small. Yeah. I don't know their barrel system size, but yeah. um, I, I was only there for like 10 minutes. I didn't talk to the brewers or nothing, yeah. so I'm a little we're gonna uh, make a trip uninformed. Down there. We're yeah. going to make a trip down it's there. It's like an hour, hour and a half, go check right? It. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're going to go check in, do some GoPro. Uh, I honestly really like it. I, I think 
the nose is better than the taste. I, I agree. I will say this. The uh, mm. mouth feels nice. Yes. It's creamy. It's, and look uh, at that color. And color's on point. Out in Minnesota. Yeah. What the? <laughs> no, we're not. Where's the caramel? Um, I, I, exactly. <laughs> I will say this. Uh, this is one of the better uh, examples of a single hot pale ale um, in the state. There isn't really any that touch this, I don't think. You know, at least as far as color, mouthfeel, and use of hops. Assuming it is single. Um, from what True. I see, it looks True. like it is it's all a, single. It showcases it. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, and like I said, I didn't get to talk to any brewers about what if, if it necessarily is 100% or not. I, they're really, really big on the uh, commercial beer scene. They yeah. are always t- uh, Instagramming like pictures of whales and um, Lambic. And they're, they know their shit, mm-hmm. put it that way. Uh, I don't know. As far as the rating goes... Like, it's just, it's just entering the A realm to me. Yeah. It's like they're not quite there yet. Uh, they have everything... But probably dry hopping down. And yeah. I think that's what everyone struggles with, to be honest. I was yeah. reading a, a pretty advanced uh, dry hopping article today, and I was like, God, I don't do any of this. <laughs> I don't know. I'd think like an 87. Yeah, I was going like 89. Yeah, I was right in that window, so 88. Uh, the one thing I will say is I really like the malt, malt pill. Yeah. I was reading about Midwest. Did you read that article I sent? I skimmed through it. I was at work. They were talking so. about like Midwest pale ales and Midwest IPAs being a thing of their own. And uh, one thing I will go ahead and say with that is that um, this doesn't fall into that category, but it does have yet a very, very uh, efficient malt bill. Yeah. It showcases the hops. Right. It's tasty. It's creamy. It's not too sweet. Yeah. It's not too bitter. It's not too dry. It's honestly... It's, it's, it's great. Yeah. Uh, it's better It's better than any pale ale that's around us right now. Yeah. I. Um, so I think with that, I'll settle, I'll settle on this. a 90. I'll settle on a 90. That sounds good. Yeah. I think uh, I think I will definitely be seeking more of this For out. the uh, rookie review yeah. for Forager. Right. Cheers, guys. Keep doing what you're doing. I don't expect you to watch this. Uh, I don't expect any. I, I'm going to tweet the fuck out of it. I hope you do too. <laughs> but, uh, I think that... If they're into the commercial scene, they might stumble across this. I don't I know. I just... I think that... Beer deserves more feedback than me sitting at your bar and essing your D when I'm at your establishment. Right. I think this is a nice gesture to them. Mm-hmm. I think that they deserve a little bit more hype than they're probably even getting. Yeah. The uh, the bartenders, um, they were wearing um, work shirts, so mm-hmm. I don't know if they're bartenders slash brewers. Very nice guys. They said they don't usually do samples, but since we were passing through, they poured us samples of whatever we wanted. That's cool. Because we were saying we're getting crawlers to go, but we don't know what to get. We don't really want to get a flight because um, we just came out of Decorah. We just yeah. want to get home. So That's they were awesome. super nice to us. I wish I had more time to talk Thanks to for them. picking it up and bringing it. Uh, uh, no that problem. color is insane. Thanks, Jason, uh, very, for stopping and having oh, to pee. Okay. <laughs> very quaffable. Yeah. I mean, Dome Town. Mm-hmm. Like, this is something you can crush the living fuck out of. Mm-hmm. And not be hammered because it's eight minutes. This is a grass cutting beer. Uh yeah. Or a lawnmower beer is it? Yeah. Say. Uh yeah. We'll settle on a ninety. I think that's a A minus score, B plus mm-hmm. score. It's right on that edge. Yeah. Depending on your grading scale, and keep doing what you're doing, Forger. Uh, we Definitely. will be down to check you out shortly, and hopefully, maybe even get an onsite interview. That'd be, That'd sweet. be really nice. So it's a super nice restaurant and everything. So we'll eat there. anybody in Rochester, check them out. Yeah, if you guys <clears> live down there, or even if you live in Decor and you're coming up to the Twin right. Cities to try some Minnesota beer. Uh, stop on your way. Who does that? Nobody. <laughs> TG. <Peace. laughs>